Hey guys, Fabulic here today, and welcome back to Prison Architect! So, a couple of things. Also, um, a single drain does not work to stop flooding. I, I, I found that out. Uh, a couple of things I need to fix and amend. Firstly, is that I, I put a toilet in front of the door and didn't notice. But of course, you ever vigilant viewers did, so I'm gonna fix that, because that should not be in front of the door. Dismantle that, hang on. Resume, please. Oh, resume. There we go, resume. Dismantle. Nope, can't can't dismantle that. Let me do it this way. Nope, doesn't doesn't seem to want to dismantle. I guess I gotta wait till it's searched. All right, well remind me to do that. Uh, then there was something else, and I've just forgotten what it was, which is just fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. Just suggestion to sort of put metal detectors as you go in and out of the prison, just so new prisons coming in will get searched, and also all the food and that will get scanned as it goes through. Definitely a good idea. Uh, of course, I could. Uh, the other suggestion was I could turn this into a cell to get that one extra cell that we need, because um, that's just a blank space there. So we'll definitely look into doing that. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get started doing a few things here. What am I doing? Objects. Drain. Uh, I guess we'll put it under the door, that should probably work fine. Uh, I want to, I think what we'll do is, as well, is we'll just, um, foundations, we're going to expand, I'm just going to expand this as a hallway because I'm going to get rid of pretty much, probably all the doors going down this, down that wall there, because th there's just too many doors, I'm going to need so many metal detectors. So if I just turn that into part of the building, and then put a metal detector there, that might be, uh, that might make a little bit more sense, so we'll get that done. Uh, and I will also put a door there now, so they can actually go through it when it is built. Uh, and then we've got to work on putting doors on all of these cells. Uh, a few of these have doors, like those ones there, but the rest do not. So we're getting eight prisoners arriving at 8am. Uh, so that will take us to 83 total, uh, but one is due for release in zero hours. Uh, what? One prisoner are due for release soon. Scarface Death. <laughs> is that his name? Or is that... What? Where's Scarface Death then? <laughs> is, is that his name or is that just like, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Uh, anyway, so we're obviously doing a shakedown at the moment to sort of search the, search the prison. Oh, is that him there? Is that Scarface? Let's see. Oh! Scarface Stab, Ma Stab McGee Death. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting name there. Alright, Scarface Death is free! Alright, let's fast forward till this search is complete. Um, uh, right, that's looking pretty good. Probably should get a little, uh, well first, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dismantle that door, dismantle that servo. Because I don't need any of these doors along here anymore. Let's get rid of all these ones. Dismantle the door, dismantle that, so there's no point having doors here if this is all gonna be inside. Which, probably should have considered the first time I did this, but, um, we're making the changes now, so, yeah. We got there in the end. Okay, that's built. Alright, so we want to go utilities, a door server, it's going to go straight on top of that door there. Uh, similarly, we're going to remove all of these doors here. I'm going to remove the doors first, that probably would have been a good idea, because that means that they'll automatically open for them, then we get rid of the servers without having to open the doors ourselves. If that makes sense, because if you remove the door server first, and they and then they try and remove the door, they can't. Because it will not open. Alright, uh, okay, so let's go utilities, connect, uh... Not the Xbox Connect, because who uses that thing? Am I right or am I right? Xbox! On! That didn't work. Um... <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uh, that'll connect there. Beautifully. Okay, so that door's all good now. Uh... Alright, so we... We'll, we'll, we're getting 2,900 a day, so... It's pretty good. Alright, so all those should be done now. That wall there should technically be brick, but it's not. Oh, I'll get rid of the planning on all this too. Because that's a little bit messy. Don't need all that. Thank you. Also, don't need the planning there. Okay, so... <laughs> these walls, it's like half concrete, half brick. Yeah, well, the aesthetics of this prison maybe are not the best of all the prisons I've ever done, but... It's, it's okay, I guess. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go concrete wall there, concrete wall there. Because uh, that's just the best place to put the uh, the metal detectors. Uh, where are they? Because... Uh, Oh, in, well, insufficient funds, that's the main problem. Because if I put them here, it sort of blocks a couple of doors, and if I put them there, then they could go that way or that way uh, with food or prisoners, so... I think if we just put them there right at the front, that should work quite well. But of course, we do not have enough money for metal detectors right now. I didn't even realize that. All right, let's go through and dismantle all of these door servos. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to get rid of that toilet too, I just remembered. That would have been something I completely forgot, wouldn't it? 
Uh, let's dismantle that. He's looking suspicious. Johnson! Looking suspicious. Go dismantle his toilet. Um, and let's go ahead and put... No, I was, go, I was about to put doors back in. No, that's not what I meant to do. Put these in. That in. And that in. Okay, so now they can only enter the cell block through this door here. Which I do need to do metal detectors around here somewhere. Uh, and they can also enter through the... Uh, common room, so we'll probably do metal detector there, there, and there, or maybe a couple by the entrance in the common room. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, but primary, I think the primary goal is I need to. Um, oh God, we've had fifty-three percent do that past the uh, foundation education course. Now we need them to do the general education course. Oh God, um, <laughs> this is difficult. All right, program. Let me let me reschedule all programs just so we're all good. Behavioral therapy. Foundation education. So what about 22 finished, 20 passed. Obviously the other two don't even want to do it for some reason. Mm, general education. Oh, there's one person that wants to do that. So watch out. Uh, no, he doesn't even... There's one interested and qualified, but he doesn't actually want to do it. Which is handy, because I need to have five of them complete it. At least one is interested. We have one more place to search as well. This is... Oh, well that guy's stuck. Okay. Well, at least he wasn't building a tunnel. We know that for sure. Uh, objects, toilet. Toilet is going to go there because I put it in the wrong spot. Uh, right. That's good. That's good. Fix all my problems from last time. Uh, all right. So let's have a look at... I need to... As, who, who's in here? Uh, wait, so if I go into... How do, how do I work this system again? Informants. So that guy's tough, apparently. Coverage, 21%. Suspicion is not that high. I, I don't... Okay, so, oh, so we can see some of them. Extremely deadly. I, I want to definitely get a separate cell block for um, sort of max security prisoners. So, obviously, maybe extremely deadly. And, I don't know. Tough, I guess. Potential CI. That guy as well. Um, how do I make them a CI again? Punish? No, I'll punish you. Recruit informant. Let's do that. There we go. Um, suspicion is up there, but we won't we won't activate him yet. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get to it. Uh, there's no power there for some reason on that door, which is interesting. I don't get it. Some of these have to be like directly connected, and then others don't. I don't. I don't understand this system. Like what? There, I'll do that. Is that happy? You happy with that? No, I don't know. Oh yeah, there was also there was also a, a game update, but <laughs> I completely forgot about. It. I f completely forgot to mention that. There was a game update. Um, the one of the monthly updates. Uh, oh, was that last episode that I said there was an update? I don't know, but it was bug fixes. I think I think I said that last episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, it must have been because it had that sort of uh, that music Easter egg in the last episode where I was like, "What is going on?" And they were dancing to Thriller because it was Halloween because that's when I was recording it, which is interesting. Anyways, uh. I'll go in there to have showers. Good stuff. So I would love to get that 20,000 for our prisoner capacity being at 100. We just need a few doors. <laughs> a few. Just a few. We have three spare doors. So we might put one there. One there. And one there. Then we're just going to get a whole bunch more. Let's get a bunch of those. There we go. Alright, so that will cover up a whole bunch of those cells. And pretty well though. I'm I'm very I'm pleased with the progress of this prison. Uh, I don't I I'll probably I reckon this prison will I'm I'm gonna call this prison done once we have a sort of maximum security and well first of all at least a hundred cells and maximum security and maybe and maybe protective custody as well because I have not put anyone on protective custody. Uh, let's go to our informants. Let's not activate that. Let's activate the other one because oh there goes suspicion that just completely jumped up. Interesting. So, confidential informant. He's on his way. He's being escorted. Dun dun dun. All right. So he may or may not be killed, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> he may or may not be killed, but it's just one of those things we will not know until it happens. Uh, okay. Reform program session minus eight hundred dollars. Fantastic. So I'm now negative. Good job, game. Uh, how are we, how are we going with the um? I've not been paying attention to the workshop. How how are we going there? Jobs. Oh, there's eight quit eight prisoners qualified. Oh wow. Okay. Let's just add a few of those in there. 
If you guys could go in there, that'd be good. Let me just... I don't know if it reassigns them or not. So I'm just going to disable every other job. There we go. So now we have six in there. Two more. Come on. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. I mean, you might be in the classroom, but that's no excuse. Uh, we ha at least we have enough things for all of them uh, to sort of do the job, which is good. Um, Cause if we can, why is there a blank one there? That's weird. Shouldn't that person be there? At least we can um, make maybe a decent amount of money from that. All right, well, let's put all these jobs back because clearly they do not want to fill up that one. Hopefully they will actually just go there when they are free. Oh, all right, minus 518, not too shabby, not too shabby. Might have to take out a loan. <laughs> uh, which, where do we do that finance? Oh, we could sell, we could sell some shares. Price for 10%, 22,000. Not really worth it though. Then I'd have to buy it back, which would be different. Well, I wouldn't have to buy it back, but ideally I don't want to resort to uh, selling shares in my prison. Mm, possible tunnel again. See, I'm always I'm always wary of these things, but can you look, look go along here again? Anything there? Just I don't know, like sniff. Sniff dog. Nothing. Well, I'm gonna I think what I'll do is I'll go search cell block just to be safe. Just to be safe. Because you never know with these prisons, they may be tunneling out. Because it, it would be super easy to get out of this prison if you started tunneling. <laughs> like, it's just one wall away. Quite easy. Hopefully they're not trying to get out of my prison there. That'd be nice, but we'll see. Uh, I did connect up that, didn't I? Let's see. Is he going out that way? Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. Still minus $400. Uh, <laughs> hang on. In bureaucracy, we do... Oh, we don't even have bank loans. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I didn't think we did because I, I couldn't find the option to actually have a bank loan. Uh, well, here come some exports, so that's good. <laughs> Hopefully, get a little bit of money from that. Where's the truck? Truck coming to export. Where's the export truck? Because that's a little bit of money. Sale price: two hundred, two hundred, and two ninety. Uh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> That's quite a few, quite a few number plates there. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty much just waiting to raise cap enough capital that we can actually place doors. And then once we get to that point, we can uh, get $20,000. <laughs> uh, oh, well, here come, here come some of these. So we've got quite a bit of money from those, hopefully. We've got minus 101. When that goes out, with, <laughs> I like how it's got like Xbox and garbage on it. There you go, a little bit of money. A little bit of cash in the bank, that's all you need. Uh, one there. Unfortunately, there's a 200 door, 200 door. Oh, I should, why didn't I get bank loans? Why didn't I get bank loans? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can I just sell these as well from here? Cause that'd be easier. I can. Okay. Let's go ahead and get bank loans because I think that'd be useful. Just so we can, just so we can quickly get a little bit of money. Um, just a little bit of money. To, to finish off the sales. Because as soon as we finish off the sales, we'll get the $20,000. Then we can repay the bank loan. No problems at all. Uh, we probably need to expand the canteen as well. Uh, at some point. Possibly this point. But we will see. Uh, how many tables do we have? So we have eight tables, which can seat eight prisoners. So we definitely do not have enough seats. <laughs> um, at all. So let's get a couple more tables in here. Damn, those are expensive. Get a couple of those in. I say they're expensive, but they're very, very cheap. But I don't have a lot of money. Oh, we used to be, we used to be swimming in money. What happened? What happened to the days when we were rich, rich and powerful? Uh, let's reschedule all those and so make sure it's all good. Zero interested and qualified in the general education now. Fantastic. That's why I don't like the education reform. I, I've like it seems so difficult because even once they pass the uh, foundation education, it's no guarantee that they're going to want to do education qualification. So it's like, what is going on there? Um, well, I'm going to stop that one because nobody, none of the guards are actually doing that. No one's interested, so I'll stop that. Uh, two in queue. Can I do another one? I can. Okay, all rooms booked. So we'll do we'll do those three. Um, nobody's even doing that. Reschedule. Make sure it's all good. Alrighty. Finance. It's good. 
Uh, not haven't been paying attention to the needs of the prisoners. Or oh, also, yeah, I've had that dude activated for ages. Oh, is he idle now? Oh, when did when did they activate? I guess they just does go whenever they want. I don't know. <laughs> not paying attention to that. I really should. Oh, that snitch. He needs to be in protective custody. That's for sure. Uh, he's a question mark. Instigator, extremely deadly, confidential informant, potential CI. Ooh. I can't see the dude in there. <laughs> Can you go in there, please? Like, any, any any quicker would be great. Like, could you run it? Thank you. Um, okay, recruit informant. You are free to go, my friend. My very little friend. Uh, which one is he? Hang on, go away. Are you this one? Yeah. I'm going to activate you. Just because. I feel like it. I don't know why, but we're going to do it. Uh, that, what is going on? The, who is doing the laundry that they've just left it a complete mess? It's worse than we, when we did when we didn't have a laundry. Uh, six hundred sixty-six dollars. Oh my god, that's a lot of money, and it's also a, a devil money. That devil money. A little bit of this. Oh damn, out of money. Close though. Only a few more doors. How many? We got ninety-three cells completed. Uh, I did put the toilet back. Good. I couldn't remember if I did. Uh, so get those those few more cells done. Here come the doors. It's now it's now shower time. Why do I have a drain there? Yep, they are also definitely fighting, and I kept I kept fast forwarding through that. Uh, uh, mm, I don't know the best way to do it. Maybe we should just let them fight it out. To be perfectly honest. Now let's get some of you guys over there. You just go over there, please. Probably should have more guards, sort of. Are you going in there? Go take care of that, because we're about to... Yep, there's a death. I was going to say we're about to have some... I said go in there, like, and take care of it, please. There you go. <laughs> I do I do like the random fights that break out, i got to say. They're cool. Here come the other guards. Yep, nice. Okay, that seems like it's been taken care of. Nice one. Good job, guards. Only one death. Uh, he was a snitch, so that's, yeah, that was the one I was going to put in protective custody. Did not get him in there quick enough. <laughs> uh, should not be laughing at the death of a snitch, but, you know, well, he earned it. He's a snitch. Was he a, was he one of my CIs, or was he just a random dude? No, he's just a random dude. I'm going to deactivate him, though, because we've had a couple of deaths since, so let's just turn him off. Uh, <laughs> Had a death of a snitch, so maybe having a, an active CI right now is not a good idea. Believe it or not. Uh, so, you're dead. Yep, yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you maximum security, because... No, nope, maximum. And you as well. What did you do? I don't know what you just did, but you're gonna be maximum. I, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. Got a, got a few maximum security prisons now. <gasps> We're receiving ten prisons. Can I? Oh, I got plenty of room for ten prisons. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna like. I was like, oh my god, we don't have enough room. But we have plenty of room. That's fine. No fights in the canteen. We, we have an armed guard in there, so it should be okay. Uh, four minutes till new prisoners arrive. <laughs> a couple of hearses out the front. Good stuff. Didn't we only have one death? Why do we have two hearses? I'm not sure. Uh, we had three hearses. We didn't have three deaths, did we? Don't think so. But we have plenty of hearses in case we did have deaths. I don't know. Well, here come all the new prisoners. Welcome to the prison of hell! Uh, eight prisoners tomorrow. We only have 89 out of 97, so that's not great. Uh, I need to- I think I need to expand the, the canteen out this way a little bit. Because it's definitely too small at this point. Um, I also should- uh, when, when we get to the point of having the separate uh, Supermax and protective custody areas, I definitely want to do different regimes, because I have not even touched those yet. Uh, did I research? Was that bank loan just then? Uh, valuation? Where do I even take out a bank loan? I don't even know how to do this. That's starting. Grants. Oh, bank loan. There you go. Uh, your credit rating, 1.0. Maximum loan, $2,500. Do I even want a credit rating? Max sec. Oh, okay. So I could have just got that for $40,000. Bills, CCTV, monitor. That would be good. I won't do that now though, but because that, that just seems like easy money. I, it's going to be a little bit challenging. Oh, well, we got minus $800. So I'm going to do that now. I lied. Uh, 
<laughs> Alright, so we just need to place CCTV cameras throughout your prison. I just need more. More cameras. Well, I wanna I wanna build definitely a separate max sec location. I think we will go I think we'll go down because it'll be closer to the canteen that way. So I think if we buy that plot there, that could be useful. But before I do that, let's finish off the cells so we can get the money for all of the uh, the hundred cells. So that'll get us up to 99, and then we'll turn this into a cell over here as well. Boom. And that one there. Probably shouldn't have placed the door, actually. I, I should have placed the items first. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, where's the bed? There it is. There you go. Do we have pipes in there? We do not. I'll uh, just connect it up like that. Cool. Alright, so let's get, let's get cracking on that, guys. Uh, so we can get the 100 cells, please. Cell. There you go. Uh, and then that will give us the additional $20,000 that we are owed. There you go. Plenty of money. We basically have 40000 anyways now. So yeah, we're going to go down, I think. Oh, do I want to go down? Uh, well, if I was going to go down, I probably should not have built that cell there, because that would be a perfect hallway. <laughs> I'm going to have to get rid of that cell that's in the way. Uh, I guess we could go back. Maybe we'll just go back. How, is that the same price? Yeah, 20000 because if we go back, we still have that hallway there, we have the common room there, and we have a hallway up there. So there's three access points if we go backward. So actually, yeah, that'll probably be a better idea. Let's go that way. Yep. Now, does that still... Does the game still glitch out and reset all of my stuff? Uh, it doesn't seem to, although they... I don't know, it's a little bit weird over there. It seems okay. Everything... Oh, I don't know why those are there. Probably by accident. Uh, seems to be okay, but I definitely should keep an eye on that, just in case. All right. So that's that. Uh, right, we need to get more CCTV cameras because we'll get another twenty thousand dollars if we just put in a few cameras. So that will definitely help. Um, why does that have to go into utility? Uh, why is it in utility mode to place cameras? I really don't like that. Let's get some in here. And which way is it facing? That way. One down. How many do I need? Oh, it's already at fifty percent. Okay, that was easy. Uh, possible tunnel there is it? Mm-hmm. Why would they be digging there, though? That doesn't make any sense. That'd be possibly the longest way to dig. <laughs> uh, right, no, no, no. More CT CCTV cameras. Uh, that's the classroom. I don't really need one of there, do we? I also need to c connect up half these cameras after I'm done. Uh, where do I want cameras? I don't even know. The laundry? I have a guard in the laundry. We could put one in uh, solitary, I guess. So that gets us up to still 50%. Really? Can we go a little bit higher? Why do I have so many cables? What do I have in there? What? Are, oh, the workshop. Yep, that makes sense. 66%. Uh, I guess we'll get some in the common room for some reason. I don't know. No, I'm not going to put one there, actually. I'll put it, put it there and one on this end. I'm pretty sure I have a guard in there anyways, but... Yeah, well. Easy come, easy go. Uh, one of the shower for uh, fights breaking out, I guess. Oh, never mind. Uh, but I will put one in there anyways, because that'll probably be useful. Okay, so we have $35,000 to crack on and get some work, some serious work done. Uh, I would probably want to... So I, I, I'm going to expand the canteen first, because I think that's something that's quite important before we expand the number of prisoners we have, is to get a bigger canteen. Let's get rid of those, get rid of a couple of these benches, because we're going to start building out a little bit. Uh, so we're going to... I guess we will just expand the building, so this will become part of it. This will all become indoors. <laughs> the morgue is going to be a door off of the canteen. No, we'll, we'll do it up to here, I think, would be good. That gives us tons more space inside of the uh, the canteen there to get a whole bunch of new things in there. So I think that'd be pretty good. All right, so we'll go doors, obviously there, there, and up there. Uh, let's just wait till I get rid of all that stuff out of the way. Uh, yeah, I'm getting rid of those. Cool. All right, so, and then obviously we'll just move the, the workbenches over there. Or workbenches, or whatever you call them. I don't know, what are they called? Wait bench. That makes more sense. <laughs> uh, eight prisoners arriving tomorrow. That is perfectly fine because we have exactly 100 cells. No problems. Okay, materials. Concrete. No, not concrete wall. What am I doing? Uh, concrete foundations. So we're going to go all the way along there. And in that spot there. I'm aware they require an entrance, which we can, of course, afford. Because we have three doors anyways. All right. Uh, that will be done like that. Uh, I guess we can actually dismantle that wall. Dismantle. Demolish the wall. 
You dismantle objects and demolish walls. Clear indoors area. Oh, that's new. Did not notice that was a thing. Uh, can you get rid of all of that? And dismantle those, that, that, those, and that, and that. Cool. And then obviously we'll just reposition the door servers and all that kind of stuff. And obviously the metal detectors as well. We will reposition those. Actually, speaking of metal detectors, let's get a couple of them on the front of the prison right now. Couple of there. Uh, do we have enough power on the, uh, yeah, we have plenty of, plenty of power left over on that. That'll go there. So those are all powered up nicely. Uh, if you guys could actually <laughs> build this a little bit faster, that'd be great. Seems they're a little bit preoccupied with other things. Might do a full shakedown tonight as well. Look at them all coming in. It's beautiful. They're, I like how they all walk diagonally across there now as well. Because it's quicker than going through the door, I guess. Beautiful. I like, I like, just imagine like the scene this would be in real life. It's like, uh, they've just demolished half of the canteen. There's just a wall to a field outside. And they're all just in there sitting eating dinner. They're in a construction site, basically. That's awful. As far as prisons goes, that's pretty awful. <laughs> it's like half demolished. All right, but uh, we'll get that expanded. Because I we definitely need a bigger, bigger canteen. That's for sure. All right, so if you guys could get that done, that'd be great. What ha Why is there a wall there? Uh, so somehow a wall appeared there. There we go. Concrete wall needs to be there. And rest is fine. Okay. Uh, right, so let's make sure all the uh, staff only. That's still staff only. Good, good, good. That's still one open area. Why is that not closed in? Oh, because there's no wall there. They haven't put it yet. Fair enough. Are you serious? Go, go around the door, you idiot. <laughs> he just stands at the door like, uh, There's a door in my way. There's a big gap to the left of it, but uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Alright, let's put in the door servos. Uh, okay, there. Alright, we need metal detectors in here, of course, because we removed them. Definitely need to put them back. Uh, we're going to put them on the inside, I guess. Just there and there. There and there. And... Can I not... All right, there and there, there. Cool. Uh, materials, let's get the... Let's just do concrete wall on the inside. Just make sure they can't get around those. And yeah, those have still got metal detectors. That's fine. Uh, all right. Object, not objects. Rooms. I want to go canteen. If I could find it. There it is. Ooh. There you go. And there you go. Awesome. Uh, utilities, are those metal detectors? Actually, those ones are connected to power. Those ones are not. Um, I guess just go like that should be fine. And that should be fine there. Cool. All right, that should connect up all that stuff. There's apparently a lot of food just sitting here that has not been thrown out for some reason. Interesting. A lot of boxes up there. Hmm. Cool. All right, so that, I think that's a pretty successful expansion of the canteen. Uh, what do we need to do? Have 15 prisoners passed the foundation? Oh, God. That one still. What other grants do we have, actually, now that we've uh, completed a couple more? Carpentry? Oh. Cell block D. 200 prisoners. Well, we've got to double the size of our prison, so I don't think we'll be able to do that anytime soon. So let's not let's not bother with that. Uh, yeah, so next, next, what, next time what I want to do is definitely get... Expand out this way. Also, feel free to leave your suggestions down below of how we should do this. I, I'm thinking it should be... It's obviously not, we're not going to take up this whole area. Probably in the center here, so we'll have like a door going to through here. Probably like remote door or something that goes into Supermax slash uh, Protective Custody. Obviously Supermax and Protective Custody are not going to do in the same place. But they'll both be through this way. So maybe Protective Custody down here, Supermax up there. And then they'll have their own canteen. Uh, pretty much they'll be completely isolated from the rest of the prison. Uh, I think uh, probably around here somewhere, but I don't know if you have any suggestions cool ideas for that. Let me know down in the comments um, But until then I think I'll, I'll just keep the money in my bank uh, So we can execute some cool ideas next episode actually before before I Jump off. I need to definitely get a pathway going here on the outside and I definitely want to move those Benches over because they're not in a very good place. I also want to put back those weight benches that I took out uh, which we did, how high up were they? So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put them one in there. 
Where was it? One, two, three, four, five. So there. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, cool. Didn't have to buy any, so that should be all of them there. All right, just making sure I was putting those in the right spot. Uh, the benches, I guess I'll just go one. Can't, I can't place them nice and evenly now. Put one there. I want to I want to move that bench over one. It's annoying me, just so they're, they're sort of evenly spaced. Huh. All right, just neaten this up a little bit. And obviously we'll put more tables in there <laughs> as well as some, and fix the flooring too at some point. Oh. Uh, have we another little another little scuffle? Is it in there? No, it's in this one. Probably should have put cameras in there. Uh, yeah, he's a snitch. Okay, yeah. So I, I really need protective custody here and supermax because all our snitches keep dying, uh, <laughs> which is generally not something we want to happen. I mean, I, I don't I don't really care, but it's not something we want to happen. Why does that need power? Honestly, all right, let me also connect up all those things because I haven't done that yet. Um, connect up, I don't know, other way. Uh, we'll connect it up to the, the first one, because I think that's where the canteen was connected up anyways. Oh, actually, that one's quite full. No, we'll do it on this one. There, and there. Alright, so they should be able to get into the canteen just fine. Uh, without any issues. Let's see, make sure, yep, he's in, cool. Uh, obviously not that one yet, waiting for a little bit of power on that. Oh, come on. Put the freaking cable in so they can actually get into the canteen. <laughs> uh, we also have plenty of food, which is good to know. Here comes... Okay, there we go. Now we've got the cable there. All our prisoners are nice, having a nice wander around in our large, spacious canteen. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this part of Prison Architect. Uh, leave your comments down below, your suggestions, ideas, etc. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.